Good day, people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, I'm sharing it today instead of on Friday, on Sunday, instead of being on uh, uh, normally being shared on uh, Saturday. Uh, the reason is because I've decided to bring in long term frame, long time frame analysis for next couple of years. We're going to look at the major forex trends that would include British pound, Euro, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. We'll also look at Japanese yen. Uh, if you guys are interested in Japanese Gen, I'll try to present the long-term analysis and the short-term analysis. So we we're going to discuss gold and silver, uh, short-term analysis and long-term analysis. And then we'll look, look at the crude oil, we'll look at cryptocurrency, and in the very beginning of the, uh, of the video, we'll uh, discuss the... Now the stock market that includes uh, Nasdaq 100, S&P 30, S&P 500 and Dow Jones 30. So we're going to discuss that. We'll also look at Tesla. If you want to follow the sequence, I'm going to follow the sequence starting from right over here. So ignore the first two chart and we'll start from um, Nasdaq 100 and we'll follow uh, this uh, whole, all the way down. If you guys are not sure what I'm talking about, you, uh, what discussion I'm, where you want to jump from one point to another point, you can definitely look at the point where I'm talking about um, what instrument I'm talking about. This is going to be visible right over here. It's the name is visible right over here and right over here too as well. So you can look at these three parts on the screen and see what I'm talking about, and it will help you. So first of all. Uh, um, on my previous analysis, uh, weekly and Saturday, I told you guys that we were expecting a price to go jump up, and that's exactly what we have seen right now. So I'm expecting there is a bit of uh, going to be an interesting price. I'm expecting that we are going to see some uh, up and down price movement hinge right over here too. So we have seen this, this, this. I'm expecting, and there is a possibility we'll see this something like that. All right. So, how you want to trade it is up to you, but this is what I'm looking at it. Once we have completed the structure that actually started right from over here, uh, we're going to go down further. All right. So, that's my analysis on uh, uh, NASDAQ 100. Let's bring it back to 4 hourly time frame. Uh, oh, let's bring it back to daily time frame. And I'm expecting that we are going to see, after the side wave is complete, we're going to see some pretty nice price movement downward in the stock market all right so definitely I'm thinking that this case is gonna be in a, in a range I'm not expecting that it's gonna go all the way up right over here next few days are gonna be very interesting so I wanted to share it to you guys and we have been able to forecast this right from the top uh, I believe that we still have one major lag to go down and once that is complete, we are going to discuss the major patterns starting from the top to the bottom. Once the price is reached in this area, once we have created a major wave downward, I'm expecting that some sort of relief would come around that area. This is NASDAQ 100. Then we have Tesla, which is more uh, clear than we have anything else going on. We have a clear 5 wave structure right from the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It could be something else. We can discuss uh, the labeling in a different way. We can consider this as whole wave 1. And this is 2. And then this is 3A. Sorry, 3 is starting line right from over here. A, B, and C. Completing a wave 4 and then we'll further down. I think this is the second labeling that I've discussed is more likely. That we have completed wave 1 right over here too. Wave 2 right over here too. Wave 3 is complete right over here too. We're going to see something like this. Uh, which will be wave 4. And then we'll do, go five, uh, downward for, for further wave 5. <coughs> and uh, you guys are looking at the pattern exactly. I'm considering it as a very large... Um, leading diagonal that actually started right from over here once again once the structure is complete right over here too uh, because we can clearly see the smaller structure right from starting from the top so we can clearly see the smaller structure once the largest structure is complete uh, the, this structure that actually started right from the top is complete right over here we can definitely discuss different possibilities start coming from the top uh, but I'm expecting that we're gonna get some relief uh, coming in that end, there is quite a possibility uh, that the price movement that we're expecting would actually stop right over here too. So there's a quite a possibility and there's a possibility that we are going to go all the way down right over here to the bottom of this. 
So we'll discuss all that, but I right now I'm thinking there is some sort of up and down price movement is expected, uh, similar price movement that we are expecting in uh, NASDAQ 100. Let's have a look at uh, Dow Jones 30 once again, and I'm expecting that we're going to see some sort of uh, up and down price movement right over here too. There is a possibility right over here too, and uh, I'm expecting that the price movement that actually started right from top over here is yet not complete. We're going to see once we are going to see price movement going up and down, we shall see something like this: a major price movement down, and then shall bring us to the top of right over here this range is going to be very important this top is very very important which is 29,000 and once the price structure starting from the top is complete we'll discuss possibilities of some sort of correction flat correction or a zigzag correction there's also a possibility that this could be something completely different but right now I'm considering that this is wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. So S&P 500 is once again, give me a moment, and a similar structure is being expected in all three markets, all three indices basically. And let's have a look at the Okay, we have completed the top and we have come out the reject and the next bottom right target would be at this one, the top of this price range, which is 3600. So uh, next week is expected to go uh, come down. And it depends on how long it can take for the market to come down and to jump up before we can actually go further down. So there's a lot of price movement going up and down, up and down. And uh, I'm thinking that we're going to stay in the range uh, for the next week or so, or maybe 10 trading days, and then we'll finally go down. Now we'll start our uh, long-term analysis on Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar. I believe that we were a little late on the catching up of the trend and I told you guys on a large time frame analysis that I was expecting for New Zealand dollar Australian dollar to create a bottom and I believe it looks to me that we have com com uh, completed the bottom right over here too so we can look at the definitely uh, I think the chart I wanted to show you guys is further down but this one is not bad either. Let me have a look one on the weekly time frame. Actually, the m there is better labeling here, right? So a similar labeling on Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar. So this is the more detailed labeling on this one right over here. Key, we can see a five wave structure starting from this bottom. A clear five wave structure is being labeled, and then we have A, B, and C which is W and X and then we have another A, B and C. So I believe that the structure actually started from our top is complete right now. We have a double zigzag forming. So I'm expecting that the next major uh, price movement shall be actually to upwards down right over here too. And within that movement we have, uh, it looks to me that we have kind of completed, give me a moment, and I'm expecting that So I'm expecting uh, that at least the middle wave, the third wave is expanded wave is uh, seems to be complete. Right now we're going to see some correction and we will see prices moving upward. So this is uh, the important, uh, if prices come down and make a complete structure, let's see it's come down right over here too and make a flat correction, this will be indication that we can go long right over here too. And if it comes and makes a, a clear zigzag, there is no stopping off it to bring it right over here too, but it seems less likely at this point. So we can clearly see a zigzag pattern forming. In that case, when the pattern is complete, and then we are also expecting for the price to complete upward. After the five wave structure is complete, we're gonna see some corruption. So I'm right now labeling this as a smaller degree wave one and two, 
and this as wave 3 we're gonna see some correction wave 3 definitely is expanded if you guys are following Elliott wave analysis so wave 3 is expanded right over here too it looks to me that wave 3 is complete very close to the completion once the price falls back this will gonna give us some very small time frame analysis or a daily time frame analysis to go long on uh, Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar this is the same pattern that we are seeing in New Zealand dollar and Australian dollar we can clearly see start from the four hourly time frame that if, uh, we have a wave one right over here two and two and three and four and five right over here too so we are right now finding resistance to the previous uh, wave four structure area so I'm expecting that we're gonna see something like this and then this is gonna be uh, support is expected to be in this region right over here too and then we're expected to go long to complete a five wave structure after that we are gonna see some messier uh, correction that actually can actually pull the, it right at the back as well so once again we have completed wave one and two wave three uh, is complete or is very close to the completion once we see a pullback that's gonna be a wave four that pullback can either be a flat correction or a double zigzag correction or a single zigzag correction and then we are expected to see prices going upward let's have a look uh, and once again it's the same pattern for Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar and we are can see that we have seen uh, some jump coming off already by the bottom so this is giving an indication that the large term correction that actually started right from the top is complete right over here too and uh, once again on a hourly time frame you guys can see that we can actually bring this to be right over here too this is not accurate all right this seems much accurate now so we can see a clear behavior on a Canadian dollar as well we can clearly come count starting from this bottom wave one and two wave three and four and wave five especially when the prices are if you look at the prices and uh, we pay attention we have fallen down and we have gone up and we have retest this this range as well right over here too and then initially I was expecting that this is going to be a complete pattern and then we're gonna go jump up right over here but the strength downward definitely seems more um, strong Canadian dollar definitely seems more strong so I'm right now considering this said that the whole correction actually completed right over here too initially I was saying this is it a, a and B and C and we're gonna see one more jump upward but that seems less likely in Canadian dollar right now it, I'm considering right now this as wave one and two let me la quickly label that as wave one and two wave three and wave four and wave five right over here too all right so I'm expecting that we shall see if we have completed a 5 wave structure right over here too then we're gonna see some massive price action in this area so right now Canadian dollar we are gonna share the large time frame analysis and that large time frame analysis gives an indication that starting from that top we are going downward starting from this top we're going downward so we can bring that I'll have to re arrange these uh, correction these move waves as well but starting from that we can clearly count a 5 wave structure and we can consider this as a W and this is an X and then we have a 5 wave structure correction another 5 wave structure so we're heading downward right now as far as the 4 hourly time frame or an hourly time frame analysis is concerned I'm looking for a pullback and then I'll, I'll be able to when the pullback happens I'll be able to tell well, like, where exactly the the correction is there is a possibility we have only seen a part of correction right over here too and the part of correction and a pullback should be happening but once again I'm gonna wait on that uh, and see how the Canadian dollar is gonna react in next few days and then we'll finalize the smaller time frame analysis the four hourly time frame analysis or the daily time frame analysis is giving us an indication that we have created a top and Canadian dollar is going to continue stronger and stronger in next days to come the most interesting ones are British pound and the euro uh, it looks to me that we have first left let's have a look at euro and then we look at, at British pound or actually we can look at British pound first so I'm expecting right now that we have completed the correction actually started right from the top right over here too right over here and once again that we have completed the small correction right over here too. it was very long in which we case the fifth wave is expanded we have wave one and two wave three and wave four 
we can consider it as a triangle right over here too or you can consider this as the ending point let's have a look and s I want to see if it's not so it's not entering into the previous territory so we can consider this price movement as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 so wave 5 was clearly subdivided we can clearly see that wave 5 is clearly subdivided we have wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 we can definitely look uh, actually let me go give you a moment 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and I'll have to um, properties of tilted and let's go back into the parameter menu it and menu app alright this is much better now and right now I'm expecting that we shall continue right from the top right over here too we let's have a look on Give me a moment. This is all right. I wanted to bring one point to you guys that if you pay attention to this particular structure right over here too, we have already kind of retested the lower end of the structure. So right now I'm expecting that we're going to go test the upper end of the structure. And once again, this is long term frame analysis for British pound. Within that, we have completed a smaller time frame price movement, or at least part of it. And we can clearly see that give me a moment and I can quickly give you guys some analysis So we can consider it as a very small wave 1 and 2 and we can consider it as a let's go with this one right now there's a possibility that when prices comes down we can find support in this area the point here is when the because the main trend is still upward we're gonna wait for the pullback and the pullback can either be a finishing in this region we can complete this as a correction or we can complete this as a correction as well so both both points are possible that is that this is A and this is B and this is C or this is also possible that we can complete this as an A, a B, and a C, and we are heading upward. In that case, we can definitely look, uh, wait for the pullback to happen and the prices to go upward. That will be completing a 5 wave structure, and we are going to see some correction in this region after that. So, uh, once again, British pound is, seems uh, that it has created a bottom right over here too. Once it makes a pullback right over here too, it's going to be a very good indication to go long right over here too. I already gave you, given you guys an indication that I'm, I'm seeing that we have created a bottom 
for British pound and the next few days and next few weeks are going to be clearly bullish for British pound. Euro, we have discussed this analysis. It's more clear. Uh, the labeling is more clear on Euro. And this is, we can see that starting from this bottom, we consider this as A, B, and C, which is a flat collection, which is 3, 3, and 5 wave structure. And then we can consider it as a double zigzag right over here too or we can consider this as a flat collection is within as well too if you want and uh, both things fit in the larger sense and right now after the normally uh, this is uh, normally a double zigzag happens within a double three or a zigzag happens we have a flat correction and a zigzag correction so I'm expecting a zigzag correction right over here too and this is a double three structure writing starting from this bottom on a weekly time frame and once again we can look at the uh, support and resistance structure area right over here too we can see that this structure that actually started right from over here is very important we have completed the lower and we have bounced off the lower end of the structure right now I'm expecting that we're gonna go in the upper area of the structure right here and this is next couple of years to come in Euro. Within that structure, we have already started the move down. First of all, we can clearly look that a five wave structure is complete right over here too. Wave one and two and three, four and five. So if you guys want, you can clearly draw a trend line starting from two and four right over here. And we kind of seen a retest on a smaller time frame, but that retest is gonna is expected to happen on a large time frame. Once again, if you want to join, you can join the start of 1 and the end of wave 2 right over here too. We can see that there is some, some resistance that came in in this region. So we can definitely use this trend line as well. And once again, we have on a smaller time frame starting from this row over here, we can consider that we have completed a smaller wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 is expected to be ongoing. Once that price structure is complete, uh, we're going to see uh, some price movement. We can consider this whole price movement as a 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. So we can see some correction happening. There is also a good possibility of that happening. That support can bring it back to right over here in this region or that can clearly come in this region as well. And there is no stopping it. Once that pullback is complete, we're going to see some good price movement. Give me a moment. In Euro. And there's also a possibility that we can consider this whole price movement, a smaller price movement as wave 1 and 2. And this whole price movement is wave 3 and 4 and a larger wave 5 structure. So both things are going to go be po are possible right now. That's why I'm leaving it a bit uh, more relaxed. So we're going to right now, basically, we're going to wait for the pullback to happen and then we'll go long. And then this is going to give us an, some nice price movement. Once that is complete, I'm expecting that we're going to see some nasty correction after that too. But the main point seems on that on a daily time frame, it looks to me that we have completed the bottom. We uh, can clearly see a five wave structure. The prices have bounced off from the bottom uh, in a very strong manner. And we are also seeing correction and a strong price movement already starting from this bottom. We have created, uh, we have cleared the uh, very important resistance area as well. So all this is indicating that Euro has created a bottom and British bottom has created a bottom right over here. A lot of you guys are in the, uh, waiting for Japanese Gen, and I'm think I'm thinking Japanese Gen is going to make some noise. We're expecting to see price to go up. And I'm expecting that there is a possibility that we'll see some price movement downward right over here too. So let's say that price goes up in this region and it, it creates a correction on top of this area. Give it, that will be indicating that we have created a correction, ended a correction right over here too. In that case, the prices are not expected to come back. But if that structure does not complete on the top of this structure, on a smaller structure that will be indicating that we are expected to see prices come down. So be really careful in that regard and I'm expecting once this structure is complete I'm expecting that we're gonna see another price movement upward towards that region. We can easily go 
and retest this area or retest that area but too much to say first next week uh, we're gonna see uh, Japanese gen to go upward and then a pullback is expected that pullback can happen on a, a smaller time frame giving us an indication that we shall continue from there and that can also bring the prices to come down right over here too but I think the Japanese gen is yet not complete and it yet not has formed a top and I told you guys that uh, we were looking for a large time frame analysis if you guys are following me and then this is the weekly time frame and then I'm expecting that once that top is complete right over here to either right over here or over here which we are discussing already on a small time frame we are to go down that means Japanese gen is going to get stronger uh, with the time but it has not created a top yet there is an interesting price structure in platinum if you guys are interested in platinum and if you guys are seeing this structure starting from right over here to A, B and C this is, seems to be the right valid structure I'm expecting that this is an impulsive move and this price movement is a corrective move we are seeing a similar pattern elsewhere as well and I'll discuss that in a bit In a larger press and price movement would go down. I'm expecting that next seven to ten trading days are expected to be negative for platinum. Platinum is expected to fall further down. We're gonna discuss the structure in platinum as we go along. But right now on a smaller time frame, I'm expecting that we have created an impulsive movement and pullback it seems to be complete, which is a flat correction A, B, and C, and we are going to go down further. So next week is going to be bearish for platinum as per my analysis now I'm expecting for silver to go down too the only problem is that this structure that actually started from over here is very messy in the later stage so right now as soon as the structure complete I was expecting it to be an ending diagonal and as soon as that structure is complete starting from over here I was expecting it to be an ending diagonal right from over here I was expecting this as in wave A and wave B and wave C so we can definitely quickly label it as wave A, wave B, and wave C. This structure, however, is not complete. Wave C is not complete yet. As soon as that structure is complete, I'm going to turn bearish on silver. And I'm expecting that one strong, one strong wave downward is expected on a daily time frame. Something like this. That we're expecting to, I'm seeing that there is one yet more wave to go down in uh, silver this patterns uh, it looks the right now let's have a look at silver before we can discuss actually gold now I cannot see uh, that the ending diagonal is complete right now I'm considering this give me a moment I'm considering this as a B and C of wave one of ending diagonal and I'm considering this as wave 2 of the ending diagonal, wave 3 of the ending diagonal and I'm expecting that wave 4 is going to happen whether it's going to pull back all the way right over here too and then go up or it's going to go right over here too and then go up so it gives you some clue into what I'm thinking and if you look at the resistance and support studies that is giving us an indication that this is going to be some thing like this and we can see the price will come down and then go up to create a final bottom right over here too and then at that moment once that area is cleared we are expected to go down let's say that the price can comes right over here too and breaks that point in that case I will turn negative so instead of using the um, the support right over here too I'm going to use this support so when 2160 gets cleared I'm going to be bearish on this area because this area uh, this structure that actually started from over here is very messy alright let's have a look at gold right now we have it looks to me that we have completed an A B and C right over here too uh, initially we were expecting for this to complete then I said no we're gonna go something like this and go further up but when the price actually followed 
that give us an indication that our first analysis that the structure expected to be complete here or here seemed right and because we have seen an impulsive move downward which is not impulsive and it does happen from time to time it doesn't it was not really strong something like this happening uh, but it was uh, followed after a correction right over here too we can clearly see that correction on a 15 minute chart so wave a and wave b and wave c and i'm expecting that this will continue downward so it looks to me that gold is a bit ahead in the completion of the structure as compared to silver we are seeing a similar structure in platinum and we are seeing a similar structure in in gold as well so it looks to me that silver is right now a bit lagging and then it gives me an indication that we are going to expecting next for couple of day next couple of weeks uh, i would say are expected to be bearish on gold if somehow if somehow a gold is a crosses that top i would mention uh, another indicate i would mention another analysis i would try to bring another analysis this team uh, this top 1870 it seems very important for gold and it looks to me that gold has yet not completed a bottom and a strong swing downward a strong movement downward is expected in gold and give me a moment oh no so is it possible that we can pr see the prices all the way down right over here too or over here both things are in possible but you have to look at the strength of the bearish move downward how strong it can be so right now i believe that wave one is complete and two is complete and i believe that wave three is going to be an expanded uh, wave so it can give us some good indication uh, of how it's going to happen but i'm expecting about 100 150 dollar drop in the price of gold uh, price is expected to be somewhere around 1700 dollar in the next two weeks um, let's have a look how i think go in gold all right <coughs> now crude oil we were expecting for the prices to drop from over here and they did initially very good but the price when jumped up went beyond our uh, starting point right over here too so uh, what i'm gonna do right at this point i believe that this area is very important 115 is very important and i'm still expecting uh, for crude oil to be bearish all right in that case we can, because we can clearly see a large correction uh, we can clearly think of it as a double zigzag starting from this top uh, it is very very messy because we have seen a price movement going upward comes down and could we complete it as wave a and wave b and wave c in this case we have one and two wave three and wave four and wave 5 we can definitely look it in that regard it's one of the interpretations and it's very ugly uh, give me a moment it's going to be very ugly labeling for as per Elliott wave analysis but I do not see any better give me a moment If that is the case, if that is the case actually, that is an N diagonal, then we are expected to see some very strong price movement downward in crude oil. But on an hourly time frame, first of all, we can see that we should look for the break of this area. which is 108 so if prices can uh, I'm saying right now if price can actually drop below 108 that will provide a confirmation for our analysis that we are looking for crude oil to be bearish All right so let's see how uh, next week turns out I'm still bearish on uh, crude oil 
but the confirmation would come at the break of 108 and if that confirmation comes in that case we can consider this as a wave A, a wave B and wave C where wave C is an ending diagonal so with three wave structure, three wave structure and a five wave structure it once again is going to be very ugly tri ending diagonal but it does happen from time to time if some of you guys are interested in cryptocurrency where is all right US dollar so we can con con definitely look at US dollar this is the same structure that we are seeing in Joro A B and C and I'm expecting because my chart here is not complete uh, and Euro is much complete so I'm expecting that we're gonna go further down clearly clearly further down and I do not have give me a moment my battery just went off All right, much better now. I'm expecting to be forming a zigzag in US dollar towards the bearish side, something like this. And somewhere in, I'll have to look at the structure, but I'm thinking mid 70s is going to be the range for US dollar. We can put it at 75 for now. And we'll discuss more for maybe on. Um, trading view all right let's have a look on a daily time frame and I can wanted to show you guys that we have completed the same pattern once again right over here too we have a one and two we have three and we have four and followed by a five year structure we have one and two three four and five giving us an indication that the fifth wave was expanded and all of us know that if fifth wave is expanded the reversal can be very very nasty Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Because let me quickly label this with one and two, with three and with four and with five. Right over to you. This is not my new it. Actually, we can do one thing. We can simply bring them right over here to one, two, four, and three and five seems right we can bring wave three right over here too and wave four we can bring wave one right over here um, so one and two this would serve much better we can definitely change the color for a better understanding of the wave structure all right. I hope that this makes sense right now. We're seeing the same structure in uh, Juro. Same structure is visible in British pound, and the same structure is visible in here. Uh, we can clearly see a fifth wave being uh, subdivided clearly and expanded, and giving us an indication a strong reversal expected to, s uh, at least where the five fifth wave has started. We can definitely look at an hourly time frame, and we can look at this some sort of correction is expected I can see clearly straight away that we can actually see prices right over here or go in that region so right now I think this is going to be a valid one because we have string and a stronger price movement is expected downward alright and then we label that after that but I believe that uh, US dollar has created the top right over here too. So this is your US dollar, and my if you got I do not want to show Bitcoin right now. I can see the coin right over here. Let me bring a new chart. Let me bring a new chart right over here too, because there's some research I do not want to show you, guys. 
and it's a rough work basically I'm doing on my own market watch and Bitcoin 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 right over here mm, chart window all right we can definitely do look in this way we can close that we can bring the, our template and all right okay okay getting somewhere so I'm expecting that this pattern is yet not complete and after that we're gonna definitely go down so I'm expecting this to be a 5 wave structure with 1 and 2 and a stronger wave 3 and 4 and 5 and then we are to go down this is going to be our analysis for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency as well I'm still bearish on cryptocurrency nothing has changed as per the guard so I took a bit of time for the analysis region is once again then you guys can go back there's a long time frame analysis next couple of years analysis for US dollar British pound and uh, Canadian dollar Australian dollar New Zealand dollar uh, euro is itself uh, we still have to it looks to me that we still he uh, need to see a top for Japanese yen and a bottom in gold and silver uh, they are lagging behind a bit uh, I'll keep a close eye platinum is still bearish and I'm expecting that mm, next week is going to be very interesting uh, we'll keep a close eye on the market and if something changes you can definitely come and look me uh, analysis on patreon which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye